to making these SO23 parts. Uh, this is my Formica. Looks pretty nice, actually. Uh, it's hard to tell in the video, but it looks like the right color. So I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up over here. All right, so I'm just going to take a pencil here. Make a rough on this here. I don't need to get it exactly. But... Not there, I guess. And I tried um, a couple different things. I don't know. Let's see if this works. I tried a little, tried a little sample on the corner. I'm gonna try these. See if this cuts in okay. I don't know. I've never done for Micah before, so if I'm doing it wrong. Somebody can chime in. Oh, that's why I cut it bigger. Hmm. Doesn't cut very easy with those. I thought it would, but it's kind of uh, making a mess. Let me see if I can. Just doesn't want to turn the corner. I'll try some regular scissors. Maybe those work better. How about some Harbor Freight? I don't know if they're going to work any better. Let's give it a shot. A little better. If I had my, uh, if I knew where my Weiss uh, horses are, then it work amazing. What happens is it's a little bit stiff and then it kind of cracks. I think once I get it on there, you know, I was looking online and I think using a router is probably the way to do it. Cut it kind of extra big so that uh, you can see. And that kind of worked. So you can see right here, I was using those. Uh, kind of cracked in a little bit so uh, but it seems like it's okay I mean it'll work see it kind of chipped off the corner here but uh, since I'm gonna be you know I made it quite a bit bigger let's take a look so you can see here I actually cut it quite a bit bigger so you know it should be fine as far as you can see here so, yeah, I'll just uh, get this glued up and we'll take a look. So I've got this Weldwood contact adhesive. Uh, you know, I don't know if this is the exact right stuff, but it should work. All right, so I was going to use a regular Slim Jim roller, but I got these things, so uh, maybe I'll use this. It'll be easier. Uh, it's just like a little $2 thing. You get it. And then the fur won't come off of this very easily. And you can take tape and kind of set that up. I'll show you that real quick. All right, so got the old Swiss Army knife. Open the can up. No, it's really handy to have one of these. A friend of mine, when I were bragging about, you know, who has the better one, he's got the one with all the magnifying glass and all that. I was like, whoa. Really nice to have a Swiss Army knife. So, there's a lot of different ways I can handle this. I'll show you guys a little trick here. You put your uh, roller on. You can use a Slim Jim roller, or just a regular, or some guys call them weenie rollers. Hang on a second, let me uh, show you a trick. Probably not the best place to do this, but you can use any tape. 
and then I have the sticky edge facing down. Yeah, I just take my uh, roller, and uh, you can do this with a Slim Jim roller or whatever. And then you just, what you do is that kind of pulls off all the loose fur, and then uh, so it doesn't end up in your work. If you get a bunch of fur down there, I imagine it wouldn't stick very well. Then you just dip your roller in here like that, and just start pulling it on there. Not the way you paint. Hoping you guys can see everything. Put you guys over there so you can maybe see. So then, uh, go ahead and put contact adhesive on both surfaces. So I'm going to put it on here. I'll set this aside in a second. And uh, let's just dry. Alright, so that's all ready to go. Put this aside. And then get the this thing here. Let's do this again. Put a lot of adhesive on here. I just was watching somebody else's YouTube channel and he showed me how to do this. So, if you ever want to know how to do for Micah, you just look on YouTube. Somebody will show it. So, I'll put a little bit of glue on both sides here. I've never done for Micah before in my life, so I don't know anything about this. I am definitely not an expert at this. I'm not an expert at a lot of things. They just do a lot of things. And then uh, some of them I'm good at, some of them not. You know, the whole thing is just do it. Don't be afraid of it. Just do it. So I don't want to get my roller in the dirt because that'll end up in my, in my glue. All right. So that's all ready to go. Now the next thing is, is to once this is dry, uh, is to apply this here to the other. Now, really what a lot of people do is they'll put like dowels or, you know, something in between the two. But you see how this is already kind of warped here? Um, what I'm going to do is since it was shipped to me warped like that, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Try and center it and put the middle in first and then push it down. So it's such a small surface. I think I can do that and not mess up. So I'll bring you guys back in the video in a minute. Just let this set up for a little while. Well, uh, we're suffering from a little glue high here. <laughs> it's pretty strong glue. So it's pretty dry. So I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty dry. Let's give this a shot. So I'm going to center it this way I only get like one shot at this so I should kind of push out evenly from what I was seeing this would be pretty good you guys have a roller you can use For this so I don't have one well I really cut it close there look at that right up the edge it's okay though because I'm gonna put a little edge around here that that covers it because I was a little bit more worried about this edge you know not being good so yeah it seems like it'll do it'll work just fine so Go ahead and run with that. And then uh, what I'm going to do now is I think I've got, hopefully I've got it, a router bit. And uh, what you do is you take a router and then you take and run it around the edge. And it's just a flat router bit. It doesn't uh, have any kind of, you know, taper or anything. 
and it just goes along the edge and usually that will just cut the formica that way and you got to go really slow if you go too fast maybe you'll end up with a chippy edge I don't know I'm just going to try it but uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that right now might jump into some of the other parts but because I don't have I'm waiting for the trim cap to come for this that goes around the edge I got a little trim piece that goes around the edge here and it has that gold color and that goes on here it's a shiny gold like the original so anyway uh, we'll move forward all right I got this bit set here from Harbor Freight a while back and if you can see if I can get it to focus there uh, this one right here shows like a formica top and then you see how it has a uh, you know that it cuts it so what it is it's this one right here put on the router maybe I'll do it real quick and have this all done I'm worried about that thing falling and uh, the edge getting damaged so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe cut it right now but um, it's this type of a bit right here well it lines right up with the bearing and it just it just used to cut the uh, formica let's give it a shot see what happens all right guys let's see how this works I got the router all set up and uh, you know I've seen guys on YouTube do this but you never know you know people try and make everything look perfect I'd rather tell people reality what stuff's really like and just be real about it you know be, show me the screw-ups <laughs> That's what I want to see. Oh, man. Well, what's going on with this? It's plugged in. Let me just, let me figure this out. I'll be right back here in a second. All right, noise alert, guys. Seems to work okay. I don't know if you guys can see all that. really easy so you can see I've got a little bit of maybe get some block sanding to do right here where I didn't uh, woods not very straight but actually uh, when I put the edge on here it's gonna hide that a little bit so it might be okay just like it is but then you got your formica on here just like in the uh, original camper so that looks great fine to me so get it on the car put the edge on here should be perfect I can take a wood block some 80 grit straighten that out a little bit I'll be fine there's no real chips along the edge it actually went cut very easily it wasn't hard at all so just so you know if you're wondering well guys I have to say um, if I'm if you want somebody to do some carpentry and have it look like crap 
that would be call me. I'm usually really bad at carpentry and I'm pretty proud of this. I think this turned out pretty good. So we'll see. When it's all on the bus, I think it'll look fine. All right, guys, so I don't really have the size of these, but what I'm going by is the screw heads. Um, these are number six screws. I know that um, because I've actually seen them in person once. So I figure these are number sixes too. And uh, here's what I've kind of drawn out here. So I've got, I think on the inside of this, um, I might cut it to the outside first and then you're know, like through the middle of it. And then, yeah, if you see there, uh, let me see if I can get it to focus on this. Uh, here we go. See there where that lies there, and then here, and then here. Um, that kind of, so that's how I'm figuring that out. Um, I haven't got the things done, but let's take a look at what I did finish today. Um, okay. Let's go take a look outside. I ended up getting these hinges at Walmart. They are almost exactly lined up with the original. In fact, they look very much like them. All right, so I got this table. You know, it's not cleaned up or anything yet, but you guys kind of kind of get the idea. And then the edge uh, is on order. It should be here pretty soon. We'll take a look at that when it comes. I got this table here, down here, already ready. Um, and that's the side table here uh, So I took this thing off here if you didn't notice in the fast motion portion portion uh, And I redid that I found out that uh, It was really it was too hard. You couldn't use the uh, What's it called uh, the router to cut this because it's too thin so what I found that worked well is um, the actual I just use a cutoff wheel and it just kind of kind of burns the edge off so that it doesn't uh, fray on here and then uh, in the middle of right here right where this goes through there's a support that goes from like this you know you have an opening here like that and there's a support that goes right through here and still the factory holes were all there so what I did is I just uh, I took a roll of tape. You can see all the tape I've got sitting here. I took a roll of tape like this um, here, and I and I just marked them where they were by marking the top and the bottom. Okay, with the tape, and then what I did is I just took the tape and pulled it across straight from the top to the bottom where I had marked and made sure that you know that was the middle one and then the middle one here and then these two pretty much lined up so it was just very slightly different it, it I mean these screws are just a little bit more narrow but almost the same so these are at Walmart these hinges so and again I marked here the same thing I marked here and marked here so that I could get the cross so I had a cross pattern this way and I had one going down on each one of those and that helped me find the middle hole and the other two I just put the hinge up and then I just drilled two holes and then I kind of had to angle them just a little bit I could see by putting this up there that that was going to be like that so anyway now it's got the for mic on the side and I could sand this a little bit get rid of that little hump there and stuff just a little bit of sandpaper maybe I'll do that 
I don't know, you know, all the little details. So you could do that yourself if you were looking to. Um, there you go. All right. So anyway, uh, talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be doing some more videos on some of these SO23 uh, camper parts. Uh, you know, making these rare, super expensive parts. Screw these guys, you know. If they want to charge a million dollars for this stuff, go ahead. I'll just make it. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And uh, maybe you guys can use this and make your own too. All right, please like, share, and subscribe.